Example of poultry vaccination shadows. On the first day, we give them glucose. We mix it with their water. It gives them energy. On the second day to fourth day, we give them pure antibiotics. Day 5 to day 7, we give them plain water. On the day 8, that is the first week, we give them first Gumboro Intermediate. Every area has 8 vaccine shadows, so consult your veterinary officers in your local area. On day 9, we give them plain water. On day 10 to day 12, we give them Cosidiostat, medicine for Cosidiosis. Day 13 to day 14, we give them plain water. Day 15th, we give them first Newcastle HB1. Day 16, we give them plain water. Day 17 to day 19, we give them Cosidiostat again. That is medicine for Cosidiosis. Day 20 to day 21, we give them plain water. Day 22, that is week 3, we give them second Gumboro Intermediate Plus. Day 23, we give them plain water. Day 24 to day 26, we give them Cosidiostat Plus Vitamin Plus Antibiotics. Day 27 to day 28, we give them plain water. Day 29, that is week 4, we give them second Newcastle Lasota. Day 30, we give them plain water. Day 31 to day 33, we give them Cosidiostat again, that is medicine for Cosidiosis. Day 34, 35, day 36, we give them plain water. On day 37, that is week 5, we give them Gumboro Intermediate Plus. Day 38, day 39, we give them plain water. Day 40, day 41, day 42, we give them Cosidiostat, medicine for Cosidiosis. Day 43, 44, 45, we give them plain water. Day 46, day 47, day 48, we give them Cosidiostat again, medicine for Cosidiosis. Day 49, day 50, day 51, we give them plain water. Day 52, day 53, day 54, day 55, we give them Cosidiostat, vitamin plus antibiotics. Day 56 to day 59, we give them plain water. Day 60, that is week 8, we give them first foul pox. Day 62, day 61 to day 62, we give them plain water. Day 63 to day 65, we give them Cosidiostat. Day 66, we give them plain water. Day 67, deworming. Day 68, day 69, we give them plain water. Day 70, day 71, day 72, we give them Cosidiostat. Day 73, we give them plain water. Day 74, that is week 10, we give them third Newcastle Lasota. Day 75, day 76, we give them plain water. Day 77 to day 79, we give them Cosidiostat plus vitamin plus antibiotics. Day 80 to day 83, we give them plain water. Day 84 to day 86, we give them Cosidiostat, medicine for Cosidiosis. Day 87, we give them plain water. Day 88, week 12, second foul pox. Day 89, day 90, we give them plain water. Day 91 to day 93, we give them Cosidiostat again, medicine for Cosidiosis. Day 94 to day 96, 
we give them plain water. Day 97, we debik them. Please note, if you debik them for the first time, their drinking, their eating will reduce. Day 98 to day 101, we give them vitamin and antibiotics only. Day 102 to day 105, we give them plain water. Day 106 to day 109, we give them cosidiosis start again. Medicine for cosidiosis. Day 110 to day 111, we give them plain water. Day 112, that is week 16, we inject them new castle, new Kavak injection. That is the new castle injection. All the initial Newcastle given to them were mixed with the water, but the last one we inject them. Please note, the Newcastle injection or the new Kavak injection should be done every three months. And also note, please, the wormer should be given to them every month throughout their laying cycle. Please, another note. Never vaccinate sick chicken. Consult your veterinary staff for detailed vaccination program in your local area since every area has its vaccination program. Please note again, all vaccines should be stored in a refrigerator before use. Always keep vaccines out of direct sunlight. When using vaccines, vaccines in the field, you should transport them in a cool box with ice. Make sure any water used for vaccination is free of chlorine. It is best to vaccinate birds during the cool hours of the day, either in the morning or in the evening. Never vaccinate sick birds. Wait until they are healthy. Always read and follow the manufacturer's instructions. Some mixed vaccines should be used within a short time frame. Otherwise, they will be useless and should be thrown away. Check instructions for how long vaccine is viable after mixing them. Practicing biosecurity and providing adequate high-quality feed, water, heat, ventilation, etc. It will help prevent diseases. Always look for possible causes of any diseases in your poultry. Do not leave any stone unturned. When in doubt, please seek expert advice. Poultry vaccines are used to protect bears from diseases, usually viral diseases. Vaccines are used to prevent new castle diseases, gumboru, marek, fowl pox, etc. We have four methods of poultry vaccination. We have injection method, skin piercing method, eye dropping method, and orally, that is either in their feed or in their water. Please, anytime you go out to buy vaccination for your bears, go with your own food flags and then ice block. Sometimes the veterinary service may give you ice block, but it is advisable to have your own extra ice block as well. The Gumboro is a vaccine and the Newcastle 2 is a vaccine. We mix them with water. Anytime you buy medicine for your bears, please ask the seller or the veterinary service. They would explain it better for you. Normally, the description is on the medicine, but the veterinary people may explain it better with more examples. If you are watching me from Ghana or if you are a Ghanaian, this is an example of the price of the vaccination. The Gumboro costs about 70 Ghana cities, 2021. 
The Newcastle cost about 45 Ghana cities 2021.